Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch are one of the few Marvel characters that both Fox and Marvel both own the film rights to, and Quicksilver has been seen in both of the movie series. But which one came first? Yeah, I know, I know. This sounds like a stupid video. It's quite clear which one came first. The one from Days of Future Past, Ivan Peters' version of Quicksilver. That came out practically a year before Age of Ultron did. So it's quite clear that Peter Maximoff came first. But it isn't so simple. Does anyone remember when we first saw the Maximoff twins in the MCU? Several months before Days of Future Past. That's right. We saw them a few months before Days of Future Past in Captain America the Winter Soldier in the post credit scene. When Baron Von Strunk was walking through his Hydra base, we see that he own, not only has possession of Loki's scepter, but he also has possession of two superpowered individuals known as Miracles, or the Maximoff Twins. So, case solved, Aaron Taylor Johnson came first, not Evan Peters. Well, that's not, that also isn't the case. Obviously, it's quite obvious that when you write a script, you start at least oh, at least a year before the movie is released, when you have time to when you have time to film it, and then edit it, produce, advertise, all that stuff. So, and with the post credit scene, sometimes it can be last minute changes. For example, the Ant Man for the Ant Man after credit scene, the scene which sets up Captain America Civil War, was changed last minute. When Kevin Feige saw it, he said, "Hey, that should be the post credit scene." So the same thing could happen here, they wouldn't write the post credit scene before the actual film. So Evan Peters came first. He was obviously written in before Aaron Taylor Johnson showed up. Or Aaron Taylor Johnson showed up. But again, it isn't so simple. Back in 2014, Marvel announced that Quicksilver would star in Age of Ultron. Then, Fox instantly thought, hey, we need to get to this character first. So, literally last minute, they changed their entire script to put Quicksilver into the movie. That epic scene, last minute changes. It was originally Juggernaut who was supposed to break them out. But we didn't get to see that, but we did get to see a pretty epic scene. And so, in this war, Fox won. Fox managed to get to the character first, and now Marvel is being yelled at for copying Fox. But it's actually Fox that copied Marvel. So, Unfortunately, Fox should probably stay after the credits in Marvel movies. I mean, they do put some scenes after the credits. Poor Fox. So, case closed again. Age of Ultron for Quicksilver came first. Well done, Aaron Taylor Johnson. Thank you everyone for watching which Quicksilver came first. It has been Mr. Sinister. Like the video if you liked the video. Subscribe if you want to keep up with our content. And I'll see you guys in a future video. But now for the guess who. Last week, no one was able to guess... This monstrosity, time to tell you the monstrosity. It was Loki's head, beast's torso and arms, and rocket's legs and tail. This time, you'll have to be guessing this. See you all next time. Bye.